deadpan. Please contract some developers to fix the bugs. Because, yeah. Shit ain't cool. So we actually do have to take on this crap since that bug happened. It's not too bad. But, uh, Ebat. How am I going to deal with 72 health Ebat? I guess I can just keep redeploying things. Because I see this, uh... Oh, no. I see this, uh... This guy sucks. Like, well, I don't understand the bomb version of these. It's like it's a leader, so you cannot even recall it. They have to have the bomb. But, like, 11, 4, no, like, nothing, 5 count would be bad anyway without the bomb. So, like, why, why don't they get, like, some benefit for the bomb? I don't get it. Truthfully boggles the mind. So... Kawaii, probably the best here. But that would be like another Snow Dweller run in a row. Like, I might just do Shade Mancer here. Even though it's the lowest health um, and highest cooldown and most useless effect. But, dare I say, shit might be getting boring if I uh, don't change it up here with Vol. Back, you say? Looks like I could tire blade it, but what would be the point of that? Vol with his first attack here. This guy's doing nothing now. Get a double here. Going hard on this gobbling here, if you couldn't tell. Oh shit. Ah. Didn't know you were attacking Vol. 
we end up with only 69. Well, that was calculated clearly. Kind of ridiculous that I freeze the guy that many times, and it's still lower than you'd ever get from that other battle. I wonder if Frozen Travelers is truthfully better here, because... You know, I did my tier listings, and the companions just aren't good, but the items aren't bad. We, you know, some comments kind of pointed out that I had quite a lot of, like, A and uh, A tier cards for Shademancer, so... Do I do the double Frozen Traveler because most of Frozen Travelers suck, and I need a better chance at getting a good one, or do the double item because there's a bunch of good items? It's a bunch of bad ones too though, like, I feel like there's a, a lot of bad Shademancer items. Like I, th I think of like bad items that aren't, that are not neutral, and Shademancer comes to mind. I mean all three of the summon on the enemy side ones, and a lot of the teeth related ones, I don't know. Tough call. Because, like, even, like, the summon stuff, I don't know. I really don't think... And there's also, like, the starting deck is decent enough. I think I will go top path, though. Let's test it out. We've been going Traveler usually in these type of scenarios. Uh, I think a B-Pop mask beats out a blank mask. Yeah. Certainly was a good hit there. Okay, there's a shade clay, but really feeling that pink berry juice. Definitely feeling the pink berry juice. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright. Two good items. Launch or just take Big Berry? Or could this be a Blunky run? Special Agent Blunky. Doesn't seem like any of these are fitting my deck at the moment. Launch, I basically have to feed two Jinjins to even match the Big Berry. And it's still a liability up until then. Looks like it's a Big Berry. Beep-up mask could earn me some money. No, not in this fight. much as I want to do that. don't think we're going to have that luxury.
Blueberry putting in the work. We're gonna need a chump blocker though. like 69 so I earned under 60 gold like 50 something pretty bad bottom route we definitely need another frozen traveler like I can't build around this but good that we got a shop Hartmiss station or frost bell The Hartman Station's less necessary when I have a pink berry juice. Also could have anti-synergy with the B-Pop mask. I believe. I think if you go to zero, you come back to one, but I don't don't quote me on that. Uh, I think given what our deck currently is, a frost bill makes more sense. Even though I do think the heart mist is generally better. But I mean what other than like a little berry, what's the high roll here with Hartmiss Station? And I have a B-Pop mask. So far I've added a B-Pop mask and I add extra health. It's just like more defense, but I can't keep it alive that well. I think we just take this. I think we could definitely make a Shen work here, even though Shen sucks. Uh, the others are horrible. I mean, they're both in my like F and D tier. Shen's like maybe C plus tier. The pink bird juice definitely bumps it up though. Some synergy with the Beepop mask um, could be a good two two target. It's just pretty bad that it starts with one overburn though and only six health. I mean, this is definitely not a good unit, but. People are tripping when they say that Shen is good, and I, I also think people are tripping when they rank Vesta low. But I get it. I get it. First impressions of Vesta aren't that good. You'd rather start. I mean, well, it doesn't matter. I'm probably buying a crown. Ooh, but I'm definitely buying the Falamask. Damn, if I would have just like hit the Goblin one more time, I could afford both here. Yep. That's fine. Um, that's just happening, and I do have the exact amount for Molten Dip if I want it. Could be good if I have a Falamus down already, but I, I think it's unnecessary in this deck. This deck has a Battle Axe, all these things. Like, I think we just don't need to do that. Could take a Charm. This is interesting. I could hold it because who knows where I'm getting kills with. Like maybe battle axe actually would make sense. Uh, but it would actually be really interesting on like a sacrifice card. But if I don't have Chickachin, we know we're not gonna get Monch. Like it could be good at Monch because he kills stuff. But I do feel Battle Axe is actually going to get a lot of our kills here, so we'll just put it on the Battle Axe. I don't think our units will actually be killing things. I do think I should switch to Shen though, just so it builds up. Especially if we're fighting uh, Infernoco. Alright, or not. Winter Worm with Aimless Double Strike, that is some shit. Uh, you can at least take that hit.
Beep up mask. Not very good into this fight, obviously. Come on, Frostbill. Smack back, not too bad. Alright, Shen is now applying what she should, I feel like she should do like three by default. Then should be good. Should be doing like seven by now. Take another one and a one, sure, but this guy is still doing a lot of damage. Couldn't kill either of them though now, at least if they hit both. Let's try this. Spike, what are you doing, buddy? I need you to get some kills. Well, I could take out all of these, so let's just do that. Finally, we got some money. There's something you won't see. Build up a big one. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we just go with the seven now and wait for stuff to spawn in. Take three here, kill one there. Or I could get a two combo right now. I'd rather just wait to see the stuff spawn in. isn't it? Oh shit. shouldn't kill here. I guess we just don't fucking do anything. This fight is so much weaker than Infernoko. It's like I'm trying not to kill these guys. And struggling to do so. I guess we could just settle for the three kill. Probably beating these out. I don't know. Both routes are good. I mean, both a Shade Sculptor and a Muncher. <sighs> Not gonna lie. Muncher and Shade Sculptor is tempting. I do think we don't have a great end game plan right now, though. And I don't think the top route gets us there. Whereas the bottom route might. I think we do definitely need another crown and more choice of cards. Particularly, we and, and a choice of potentially Vesta. I think this deck really needs a Vesta. Or, an, or a candle, dare I say. 48, that's shit. No Vesta, but it is a Chikachi. We should take that. And Spike can go. Cheap Storm Globe, and the rest are shit. Can be good. 
good on axe. And it's the only thing right now that's really all that good. Could do it on a berry bell, I guess. I could just hold it as well. Problem if, if I do it away from axe. I don't love that. I don't know. I probably should just do it though. It just sucks because I did put the draw thing on it, but it's probably earned me gold moving forward and I, I don't really need this thing to be replayed, I suppose. Soulbound Skulls would have been nice though. I, I should have probably just held it for Soulbound Skulls if that's like a thing. Jab Jode's pretty good here. Hit, 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 hit. Hit, hit. I don't want Dim Nice here. here is fine. Uh, I guess I could bear a bow here. Let's just get this in though. Chickashan's gonna kill himself here unless I freeze this, but I don't actually care about Chicky Sun here. So I am just going to freeze this. I can hit a five here. I can hit them, that's fine. to get Shen out. I mean, I've gotten the best fights possible for Shen, so I'll admit Shen's been pretty good here, but let's things in perspective. Alright, we can lose to Fallow here. Guess I could heal this. Could lose four there and that's fine. I could also just lose two if I do that, which I will. A three kill combo. I 
I don't really need to recall Shen, do I? I can just cast this here. And then I can just lose some health. Or just freeze. I, I don't know. Shen's definitely great in these situations, but I still feel like it's kind of a Results not typical type situation. My head is so easy. fight to the King Moko fight is just much different, right? I feel like we're not getting many cards offered in this run. Shade Sculptor is tempting. With how my deck's looking right now, and it being potentially pretty slow, Either the Blizzard Bottle or t Pink Berry Juice starts to make sense. Could also do the Battle Axe. Can make it a lot less slow. Put the Jailer in range a lot faster. Still not enough. Like, two of them still doesn't kill a Backliner in the final fight. Assuming it gives us the Lumen Base, which now that I think about it, it isn't. Because guess what? It should have given it to us by now, so somehow I get yet another back-to-back non-limit. Yep. I don't know. I, this might be the the end then. I'll play this run out, but I hate to say it. Like, I, I don't even feel... I don't, I don't hate to say it. I don't feel bad about this shit anymore. It's like, dude, I don't care if you're one developer. Like, you sold a lot of copies of the game. Like, if you can't fix this bug, hire some people to do it. This is re such a ridiculously simple scenario like how is this taking two months to fix two months is this just going to be there in the whole game like why, why do i even play then if i can't even play the game like am i right like uh, the lumen base unless i'm tripping like shouldn't i have seen it by now i'm in combat five i definitely should have seen a a, a shiny thing but we've seen none we didn't see it at all Unless I'm blind, but... Yeti Skull, pretty easy pick here. Man, this is so disappointing, though. Two in a row I've gotten now, like, just like the other time, two in a row. It really pisses me off. Happens way too often. You know, really frustrating. So now I'm just demotivated to do the run. Cause like I feel like we actually had fi finally like a, a well balanced run where I didn't feel like I was struggling, but I also didn't feel super overpowered or anything. <laughs> and just you know, fuck it. There's nothing to do now because yeah. I think the Yeti Skull could be decently a dupe target. You know, the Falamusk also works with it. It can it can tank a hit at eight health and then follow up the Yeti. If the chicky song isn't working, uh, I think it's okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fight the final fight anyway, so it doesn't matter. Which means I'm definitely not equipping that if I'm going to actually have to face who I'm facing. But that's assuming I play any more runs, to be honest. Like, until I see the patch notes say, state that this fucking bug is fixed, I don't think I'm playing anymore. Yeah, save for later. Just why would I even use it if I know that? Like that one is like a a nightmare to face when you have to actually face your team. So why would I equip it? I mean, why would I do anything now at this point? I definitely wouldn't put any buffs on my units now at this point. 
Absolutely not. So dumb. So incredibly dumb. I don't even care, yeah, sure. Put them both on the same row, it doesn't matter. You have demonized, it's not too bad. Worst hit, you don't say. You don't fucking say. After I take a hit here, I'll just yeti scold it. Actually, let's do this. Uh, if I take this hit, then I'm out anyway. Might as well just use it as a blizzard bottle. route I'll take. Also, just like the fucking routes are like so fucking horribly balanced. Consume not too bad there with 10 extra damage. But again, who cares? Uh, Sun Charm could be good, but again, who cares? Uh, especially when I'm gonna have to face my own enemies. I mean, since I'm gonna face my own stuff, there's just nothing, nothing that goes on a unit should I even bother with. Just take the Palm Bomb and say fuck it. times this strudel spawned with frickin' lumen for me. I feel like more than half the times it has a shard it has that. But whatever. Uh, kill that. Definitely do that.
wait one turn there. Haha. <laughs> that guy got some health. See, this is more what you're getting out of Shen usually. Just laughably bad. Um, let's freeze this one first. I don't even need the hit. So you don't want to go all in on Overburn. Maybe got some overburn, but I guess not. Still only doing four this late in the battle. And I've done how much work on Shen here? That's why I don't like Shen.
We're not even getting a single vase component, like not the first or even the second one. It boggles the mind. No sense getting a charm. Like again, why even put it on the enemy? <clears throat> this is just so dumb. Wasting the attacks. Let's just kill the main guy, it doesn't matter. See, I have less money because, on top of all the shit, Wooly Snail has spawned like once. <laughs> I mean, quite literally, did it? Did it not spawn like maybe, maybe twice? I guess because I know I skipped one. Whatever. Just go to the top. I'm so freaking annoyed. Skull must tease. Little skull. Probably just a candle and another crown. Not that any of this shit matters. good. No sense buying anything. Let's just get through this stupid thing. What the fuck? Like, wouldn't even, like, pull up the thing. Yeah, this, this is not out of early access. I don't care what you say. This is not out of early access.
And since it's just this, we're probably fine to do that. It hits in somehow. Save the B-pop for that. Yeah, let's go like this. Fucking plum is being so annoying. That's what I'm saving my axe for. Yeah. Do two, but not now. God damn it. I'm a fucking moron. We're starting at like zero attack.
You don't say. Now, if anybody's an uh, aspiring PhD student, um, yeah, maybe you could write your thesis on how difficult it is to uh, have a fucking shop or treasure node show up at, you know, a predetermined location. It's not even the, it's not even like it's a random ring they're supposed to show up. It's like always right before the first boss, right after the second boss. It's always supposed to be right there. So it's not even like they have to randomize where it shows up. Yep, that's it for me. Sorry. That's where I'm at. So once I see the patch notes come in, I'll maybe I'll re return to Wild Frost, but I don't care how many patches come out. I mean, maybe I'll get roped back in, but like, I need to specifically see this stupid bug get fixed, because this is beyond annoying. Anyway, until next time, I'll find another game. <laughs>